Whitney Way Thor is a likable and entertaining TV personality, featured in My Big Fat Fabulous Life. Those traits helped her land 10 seasons in the show between 2015 and 2022, and she will return in the 11th season in 2023. However, many people, including family members, have problems with Whitney's dating life, especially since she seems to pick the wrong kind of men and fall in love quickly and recklessly. However, they changed their opinion in season 10 and started scolding her behavior instead, including potentially cheating on a long-distance partner she dated for over two years. Whitney's desire to put her needs above a relationship wasn't new. She broke up from Lenny for that reason. However, she seemingly found true love with a Frenchman and apparently didn't mind the physical distance as they stayed in touch daily. However, she pushed the serious thing away asking for an open relationship in the latest season, only to potentially have an adventure with someone, presumably Lenny while vacationing. Fans think she should have known better, especially since she was a victim. One ex-boyfriend, Buddy Bell, was a felon with a violent record, while another, Avi Lang, hid his engagement to an Egyptian woman named Nada. And Chase Severino famously admitted that he'd got another girl pregnant after becoming engaged to Whitney. We analyzed how Whitney might have been the one to cross the line this time, using Lenny while dating her French boyfriend, and mentioned hints of line crossing in the past. Most viewers saw nothing wrong with Whitney being assertive, louder, and more animated than Lenny, and he never mentioned it crossed significant lines. However, Lenny fit the stereotype of a burly man sporting a big beard, who initially looked scary, yet was a kind soul. He chose his words, spoke in a deep but monotone voice, and never discussed his emotions. Based on her later relationships marked with immoral acts by her partners, it seemed that Whitney chose a stable, quiet man to feel in control, more than she genuinely felt attraction. Although that's only speculation from a limited viewpoint, their relationship was short, roughly a year between the early second and late season three. Whitney broke things off in 2016, and it became apparent that she'd actually grown tired of being the dominant partner. After all, she told Lenny that she sought a partner whom she wouldn't need to ask to change, and explained that he couldn't meet all her needs, or didn't want to. It's important to note that Whitney's initial weight gain was not entirely her fault. After becoming up to 200 pounds or 90 kilograms heavier in college and noticing hair loss and facial hair growth at age 23, Whitney was diagnosed with polycystic ovary syndrome, PCEOS. She also revealed on World Mental Health Day in 2020 that she'd been diagnosed with depression at 18 and has a typical anorexia nervosa, generalized anxiety disorder, and Bolivia nervosa. She also admitted to attending therapy weekly for years until mid-2019. These were legitimate reasons for her struggle to keep her body mass index or BMI in check. However, some viewers felt it was taking a toll on Lenny, but he didn't want to share how he felt. Most observed that Whitney could have been kinder to Lenny and tried to lose weight faster with his wholehearted support and her therapy and medication. Whitney presumably told Lenny that her PCOS makes it nearly impossible to become pregnant, hence he was comfortable with having unprotected intercourse. That is the first action by her that most people can agree went too far since it gave him a false sense of security. In early 2017, only months after she told him she was no longer in love, Whitney called Lenny and told him that three pregnancy tests she took were positive. Although she feared his unfavorable reaction, Lenny was supportive and promised to be there for her, although he was unsure if they could get back together. Ultimately, the tests gave a false positive result because of her hormonal imbalance, and they continued their platonic relationship. While they are both responsible for their actions, and Lenny may have secretly wanted a child, this event could have had lifelong consequences. Since neither has a child, we assume both are happy with how things turned out. Lenny was away from the spotlight between seasons four and eight, and only accidentally resurfaced in her life, according to him. At the beginning of the eighth season, Lenny showed up at her doorstep, claiming that he was in the neighborhood and wanted to check on her, after she broke off her engagement to Chase. Not long afterwards, Lenny admitted that he had unresolved feelings. 
However, she was dating the Frenchman, and Lenny assumed that her relationship was exclusive. Additionally, she publicly made it clear that she only saw him as an ex-boyfriend. Yet their relationship grew fonder, and they spent much more time together. She also posted an unusually loving birthday message on 29 September 2022, praising his loyalty, dedication to helping her parents and her, and creativity. She also claimed that she loved him in a way that defies explanation. Shortly afterwards, she hired him as a producer for her fitness company, No BS Active, and he started filming her dancing videos. However, even after introducing business to their close bond, Whitney clarified that she didn't see their relationship as weird or inappropriate, and explained that it was easy to fall back into their old dynamic since he was an ex-boyfriend. She added that her French boyfriend wasn't jealous and said, oh, never mind, I'm fine, when she showed him Lenny's picture. Despite her French boyfriend apparently being unconcerned about Lenny in 2022, he should have been worried. Toward the end of season 10, Whitney goes on vacation with Lenny, two other friends, Isaiah and Jessica, and her brother Hunter. Before landing in St. Lucia, Whitney opened her relationship, that is, made a deal with her French boyfriend to loosen the relationship bond physically. She did so on the off chance a vacation adventure might happen, and because their in-person meetings were so rare, she only saw him twice between 2020 and early 2023. That adventure could have been with anyone, but viewers suspected she may have considered the opportunity to sleep with Lenny ahead of time. They noticed that Whitney told him that she loves him, but also someone else, and that it feels confusing. Lenny agreed, but both stated that they didn't know if they were in love. To everyone's surprise, they kissed right afterwards and then spent some time in a mud bath. The 11th episode confirmed those suspicions, since it started with Hunter saying, I thought that maybe something would happen between Whitney and Lenny, but I didn't expect it on the first morning. TLC then showed a segment with Lenny and Whitney waking up in their hotel room's bed and her adjusting her slightly messy hair, leaving viewers to speculate on what had happened. However, both affirmed that they only slept beside one another and that their relationship was still platonic, despite agreeing that their intimacy, gone a year before, returned on the trip. Fans have doubted the legitimacy of her relationship with her French boyfriend. She met him on a language exchange app during the COVID-19 pandemic in 2020, and the relationship turned from teaching to friendship, then supposedly to romance. His identity hasn't been revealed, and he refused to appear in the show, prompting curious viewers of public forums such as Reddit to guess who he might be. After an editing error showed his name on a video call, compelling evidence revealed that he's a French rapper named Nail Rayner. Nonetheless, the public needs to find out whether he agreed to her request to open their relationship, and if he knew she considered rekindling things with Lenny when she asked. After all, viewers only heard her claims during a car ride, and for all they know, she could have broken up from him. And producers are creating a storyline. That wouldn't be the first time. Many people questioned if the show is partially scripted, after viewers identified several suspicious situations. Two examples include a random jogger she ran into already wearing a lapel microphone, and her lack of shock when her ex-fiancé Chase Severino lost the engagement ring in the ocean. We also have Lenny's limited side of the story. He told Whitney he was happy that he re-entered her life, and that there may be a spark they need to explore. He also concluded that rekindling a relationship with Whitney was weird when her boyfriend was in the picture, and that he kind of pretends he doesn't exist because he hasn't seen him. During the St. Lucia trip, Whitney claimed that it was okay if Lenny went off with another girl. However, her face told a different story when he didn't show up as they were preparing to leave the island, and it was apparent that he might be with a girl he had a crush on. Similarly, viewers noticed that she wanted validation from her friends or make them or her French boyfriend jealous. For instance, when roommate and ex-boyfriend Buddy Bell kissed his fiancé Courtney, Whitney grabbed Lenny and leaned in to kiss him. Though Lenny wasn't objecting, she described him as a platonic friend, and her action was unprompted. Moreover, she was bothered by other women approaching Lenny, and wanted a local girl who danced close to Lenny during a beach party in one segment to move away. Although we focused on Whitney's actions, saying Lenny is innocent in the story would be dishonest. 
For instance, his name is not even Lenny Alihat. Online sleuths have discovered that his real name is Nathaniel David Lee. Moreover, he has a record for a driving under the influence DUI, assaulting the arresting officer and two arrest warrants. Additionally, he's responsible for accepting getting close to Whitney while knowing that she's in a committed relationship, even if he pretends her boyfriend isn't real. Some fans also remember that Lenny crossed the line in an episode aired in August 2022. He entered her room to ask about a video he was doing for No BS Active, but then jumped in her bed and hugged her from behind over the blanket. Whitney encouraged him to get closer by asking him to scratch her back, at which point he discovered she was nude. Things ended innocently after they both agreed that they'd only a strictly working relationship. Regardless, his hasty action with a naked ex-girlfriend, taken or not, crossed a boundary. Despite all this build-up, on 18 March 2023, Whitney posted a picture of Lenny sleeping on the couch with her cat, Henchy. That showed that the two remained close after the St. Lucia trip. But she never clarified if she'd had the adventure worth risking her serious relationship for. Furthermore, fans still need to find out if Whitney is dating the Frenchman, as she's been absent from social media for a while. That could be deliberate, as TLC may want to keep the intrigue and resolution for season 11 of My Big Fat Fabulous Life. One thing is undeniable. The line between their friendship, professional relationship, and romantic and physical attraction is blurred. Most worrying is that Lenny's alleged cheating was the reason for their breakup. Yet she feels comfortable stepping out on her long-term, if remote boyfriend, even if he apparently approves. Thank you for spending some time with us. Make sure to like and subscribe so you never miss another video. We also handpick these videos, which we recommend you watch next. You can talk to us on all social medias or ask a question in the comments below. Thank you for being with us and we'll see you back tomorrow.